Yeah, ever. and it's hard, and the pressure of not letting down so many people while you're like exhausted and miserable, it sucks. In the latest episode of her MTV reality show, Tana Mojo gets real about the drama that led to her split from Jake Paul. What is up you guys, it's Susan Morad back here with Clever News and if you've been following along the wild ride that's been Tana Mojo and Jake Paul's relationship, you know that it has been pretty confusing since day one. But now, months later, we're finally getting some answers. In case you needed a little refresher, Tana and Jake started dating in April of last year and were engaged by her 21st birthday, which was just a couple of months later in June. There was a lot of back and forth about whether or not these two were legit or if they just got together for clout. But one month later, the two sealed the deal and tied the knot in a $500,000 Las Vegas wedding ceremony. It was later revealed that there was no record of the couple obtaining a marriage license in Nevada and Amani Azadi, who officiated the wedding, was not permitted to do so. But regardless, they acted as if they were married, though Jake did go on his honeymoon without Tanner. I mean, and that's a whole nother story for another day. Anyway, around six months after getting married, the two revealed they were calling it quits in January 2019. Tanner and Jake posted photos to their Instagram pages with statements saying they were taking a break from their relationship. And now, two months after their split, Tanner is finally revealing what led to the pair's break. Up. In the most recent episode of her show MTV No Filter, Tana Mojo, we see Tana struggle with her relationship with Jake as she talks to her manager Jordan about it. I know it's very weird to be like, this is like the most successful I've ever been in my career, but like that doesn't mean it's equivalent to like happiness. Like my relationship is my business life which sucks. Jordan then went on to explain how Tana has been spreading herself too thin and the confusion surrounding her relationship with Jake was even taking a toll on her. Jordan said, quote, I think Tana is stressed over working with Jake and the blurred lines between their personal relationship and their business relationship. It's part of a much larger problem of Tana's life being completely out of balance. Hey, is this what you've been doing every night? What? Smoking weed? Anything to numb the pain. Honestly. Yeah. Jordan also tells Tana she's going to burn out if she doesn't start prioritizing her health and that she needs to see a doctor. But I want to know what you guys think about all of this. Do you like it when your favorite YouTubers get real with you about their struggles and even their health? And do you appreciate Tana being so honest in her show? Get the conversation going right here in the comment section below. But Tana didn't only talk to her manager about her relationship with Jake. In the same episode, she also talked to her longtime friend, Ashley. Tana and Ashley take a trip to the supermarket where things get really real. Tana explained to her friend that, quote, Jake and I have been married for the last six months, but five of them he's spent two hours away in Big Bear training for a boxing match. And Ashley agreed with Tana and said things have been weird since right after the wedding. Jake's in a very different place of life than he was when I fell for him. And I feel like he just doesn't have time for me anymore. Tana went on to explain that Jake has been slowly changing into a different person and she went as far as saying she didn't even feel like she knew him anymore. That really is heartbreaking to see how much Tana was hurting. Tana was always defending their relationship on social media and at the end of last year, she broke down in her YouTube video called The Truth About Everything, where she opened up about her relationship and her mental health. But if you put it all into bullet points of all the things I did, you'd be like, wow, that's an amazing year. But mentally, I just feel like the lowest I've ever felt. In that same video, she went on to explain that she's quote, so unhappy with the way my relationship with Jake looks in the public eye. I think I just put so much of myself into Jake that I lost myself. And that's not his fault and I'm not blaming him for that at all. It's just the reality. I don't regret it. Well, apparently according to her MTV show, Jake wasn't too happy about that video and it led to a lot of issues in their relationship. Tana talked about a two hour long fight over the phone where she admitted she was screaming, crying and pacing. Obviously a video like this doesn't make my relationship look too good and I didn't expect to be fighting with Jake over it but it's clear that we just don't see eye to eye on it. And finally in the episode, Tana explains that she headed over to where Jake was training and ended things with him. She admits that while she may have regretted splitting with him for a hot second, she saw the interview where he said he fell out of love with Tana and in love with boxing. And that was it for her. And Tana's fans are taking to social media to support her after she spilled all this deeply personal tea surrounding her relationship with Jake. One fan said, quote, Thank you, God, that Jake is not around Tanner anymore. 
thank you. Another said, I'm here for the way MTV is portraying Jake Paul because he's been a jerk to Tanner. And another wrote, it's honestly like Jake Paul is five and I don't know what Tanner saw in him. Do you think Tanner and Jake are better off broken up? And also what do you think about everything Tanner revealed about their split? Let me know down here in the comments section below. And I know this episode of Tanner's show talked a lot about her health and we didn't get too far into that. So if you want more on the latest health scare for Tanner, click right over here for another clever news video. And as always, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss another entertainment news update. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.